Well, backed by 12 assistants, Police Commissioner Clayton Fernanda today outlined plans to launch a multi-pronged approach to identifying, fighting, and reducing incidents of crime throughout the country. Those details shared with the Rotary Club of Nassau. Lloyd Allen has the story. By month's end, a new multi-agency task force spearheaded by Commissioner of Police is set to launch as much was said today during his presentation at the Rotary Club of Nassau. You are in and eyes out there. Police Commissioner Clayton Fernando detailing both ground and maritime operations except for enhancements, all designed to penetrate the heart of proliferated crime in what have been dubbed hotspots. The strategy is patrols and integrated communication. We intend to move at least four vehicles that will be consistently in there 24-7. When we change shift, we change shift right there. We always the, the, the yachts, uh, they come in and nobody's paying attention to that. So we have a strategy in place and the task force will be there. We will open and the short order, uh, you will see uh, what that is all about. Calling on every citizen to do their part, Commissioner its statistics reflecting an upward trend in serious crimes, including murders, now at 85 for the year, a 21% increase compared to the same period last year. The most murders happen in the Southern Division, what we call the inner city, that Grove area, followed by Southeastern, which is in the Southern area, Northeastern, which is the capital area, we always refer to that, and even the Bay and Town. Uh, the Bay and Town area. Regarding armed robberies, for now, says figures have doubled since 2021, now totaling 300, with the majority of the incidents happening between 4 p.m. and midnight. Vehicles are being taken in most of these incidents. A number of vehicles that were taken are presently still outstanding. That's a concern for us. He says cars like Notes, Cubes, Hondas, Passos are being targeted by criminals and advises all drivers to invest in trackers, which could assist with locating their property. Meantime, he says safety is a right to all law-abiding citizens, encouraging the public to reach out to the nearest police station in times of concern. If you're going home at night time, you want to reach out if you're not comfortable, you pull in the station yard. Or you could call the commander, meet me by Super while you out in the east. I just need you to assist me in getting home safe in my house. But as these trends have been singled out, Fernando appeals to the public to assist in helping to restore order. For the I'm Lloyd Allen.